everyone must choose one of the two pain either the pain of discipline or the pain of regret some of the formulas like time period normal of single, simple pendulum it is equal to t is equal to 2 pi root l by g then uh, if there is uh, a body then it will be equal to t is equal to 2 pi root i by m g t uh, d here is the distance from the center and i here is the uh, that is moment of inertia and uh, for earth it is equal to 2 pi root r by g and uh, if there is spring then it is equal to t is equal to 2 pi m by in root m by k k is the uh, spring constant and uh, then maximum velocity is equal to omega a maximum acceleration omega square a and uh, for kinetic energy velocity is equal to omega is root a square minus x square a is the amplitude x here is the position and x is equal to a sine omega t uh, uh, from mean position and if from any other position then it is equal to x is equal to a cos omega t and uh, kinetic energy is e equal to uh, half uh, m omega square uh, a square uh, minus x square so next that is potential energy half m omega square x square and total energy is equal to that is uh, the same half m omega square and that is kinetic energy maximum and then uh, so frequency of kinetic and potential energy is always two times of the frequency of uh, uh, motion that is with respect to motion and if we have spring then the kinetic energy will be equal to half k a square k is the spring constant or half k x square and omega is uh, equal to root k by m just opposite to the uh, time period and uh, uh, to calculate the amplitude it will be amplitude is equal to root of a1 square plus a2 square plus 2 a1 a2 cos b a is the resultant amplitude so that is uh, yeah delta l by l is equal to alpha plus theta alpha is the coefficient of uh, linear expansion theta is the that is you can say theta or the uh, delta theta change in temperature and uh, 2 cos square theta is equal to 1 plus uh, cos 2 theta and if we will discuss some of the formulas of like we did of semiconductor then alpha is the current gain when there is common base configuration beta is the current gain when common emitter configuration beta is equal to alpha upon 1 minus alpha and uh, so power gain is equal to beta into uh, current gain into voltage gain and uh, so degree of freedom is equal to 1 plus 2 by f or f plus 2 uh, divided by f and uh, if uh, uh, phase if there is common base configuration then phase difference in uh, amplification in common base amplification phase difference is 0 and in common emitter it is 180 degree and uh, so voltage gain in db uh, is equal to 20 log base 10 uh, voltage gain and voltage ga uh, power gain in db is equal to 10 log base 10 power gain and uh, intrinsic ni square is equal to ne into nh and uh, v is equal to ed eta is equal to uh, coefficient of uh, performance and 1 minus t2 by t1 or you can say that 1 minus uh, q2 by q1 or work output upon input that is the work done upon uh, energy velocity gamma rt upon uh, m gamma is equal to cp upon cv and uh, coefficient of uh, that is beta uh, is equal to beta here is equal to we won't say efficiency uh, coefficient of performance is there and eta is the efficiency so beta is equal to just opposite of eta that is the q2 by w and it will be equal to t2 by t1 minus t2 and for adiabatic it will be equal to pv to the power gamma constant then uh, t2 uh, t v to the power gamma minus 1 constant and t to the power gamma p to the power uh, 1 minus gamma constant and uh, so q is equal to ml 
uh, m here is the mass in gram l is the latent heat or it is also equal to m is delta theta depending on the if the state is changing then we will use uh, ml and if heat is changing then we will use the formula m is delta theta and gamma is equal to and gamma is equal to quotient of volumetric expansion and it is equal it is equal to change in volume divided by uh, volume into uh, change in temperature that's all thanks for watching